Right now, there's a battle over the restrooms in the Francis Howell School District. In 30 minutes, the board will discuss a new policy that requires students to use the restroom that matches the sex on their birth certificates. Our Justina Cornell learned more about the policy and joins us live from the school's administration building. Justina. Yeah, Mike, so I spoke to people on both sides, those who are for and against this policy. Now, both sides say they, they are passionate about this topic and want to make sure their voices are heard tonight. My child is very, um, very uh, upset. A policy over privacy feels personal to Becky Hormuth. I have a 16 year old trans son um, who attends Francis Howe High School. She's a part of Transparent USA, an organization providing support for parents of trans children. Hormuth believes that support system is needed now more than ever. It's our neighbors are specifically targeting my kid. They phrase it in a way that they are trying to protect students in general, but in, real, in reality, um, they're not. The frustrations are against a proposed policy by a Francis House School Board member. Policy 2116 requires students using bathrooms or locker rooms determined by the sex marker on the student's birth certificate. It also proposes each school within the district to provide a minimum one single use restroom and this can have signage indicating use by more than one sex. Oh, it's total segregation. It's forcing these kids to be outed if they're not outed. I just feel like that it is targeting our kids to endure even more emotional distress. The founders at Francis Howell Families see it differently. Mother I spoke to last spring who had a daughter that was um, uncomfortable going into the bathroom at Francis Howell North because there was a boy at that time going in. Vivian Gontar says they want to protect students. If you're going to make it okay for little kids, is it also okay for adults? Do you want a transgender adult or someone claiming to be transgender? You don't, you don't know when somebody walks into a bathroom what their intent is. Hormuth wants to defend her child too. As our kids are normal kids go. that just want to be um, accepted who they are. The meeting tonight starts at 630 and it will be the first reading. We're told a vote and happen at the next meeting, which will be November 16th. Reporting live, Justina Cornell, five on your side.